Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for um, the week of February 5th. Almost forgot, <laughs> which I don't even know how that's possible. I've said it like 10 times today, but uh, you have this hammock card. It says taking a vacation, either physically or mentally. You have this money path card. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. There you go. Um, love it. So this looks pretty good to me here. Um, you know, the funny thing is I do like the Knight of Wands for vacation as well. <laughs> the, the Knight of Wands can just be going on an adventure. So, you know, if you feel like you need a vacation or an adventure, I would say now is the time for you to go on that adventure. I also feel that there are some rewards coming in for you. I mean, obviously you have that money path card, which is an awesome card, but you know, I kind of feel that it's saying that you could be being rewarded. Um, it, you know, especially if you've had a difficult time with people in your life, just in general, like maybe you've had, um, you know, dealt with like an inconsistent person in love. You know, there could be, I am getting that there could be some sort of like gift from the universe as far as love is concerned in the form of a new person. So, you know, there could be a new person if you're into that sort of thing. Um, and again, if not, uh, well, for all of you, even if you are, <laughs> even if you are, uh, I would say that it is definitely time for you to go on an adventure. I feel like you're already on the adventure though, is what I feel like saying. So, you know, again, you could already be on this path with money. I just don't think you necessarily have the money yet. I think that it is coming for sure. So um, like whatever you're working on, I would keep putting in the effort. Uh, you have the net of wands. I do feel like you dealt with an inconsistent person in the past for some of you, and you could be moving towards something new that's much better. You end with the two of cups, which is great. You know, two of cups is a perfect match. So there you go. But I feel like you need to keep going and keep building. Uh, one thing I will say is that the net of wands to me is a true builder in the tarot. And it looks to me like you are building something. I kind of feel like it's just you. <laughs> that, like, I feel like you are building yourself um, in some way. Um, this could be you working on a skill, a talent. Um, you know, it could be working on your health, like whatever it is. I, I, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I would keep doing it. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords, and you might think the Ten of Swords is a bad card, but personally, I like the Ten of Swords. It can represent a blessing in disguise. It definitely can say that something is dead done over with, but he's making a symbol right here with his hands, and it's the same symbol that the Hierophant is making, so you know it can represent some blessings coming in for you. Uh, one thing I will say is that um, you know all three water signs were very similar. I know people, some people don't like when I talk about other signs, but uh, there's the door right there. There's a little X somewhere above your head. Click it and leave if you don't like it, right? I, I do this because I'm making a point because it's important to work with the energy. So there you go. Um, and people always say like, why do you worry about it and everything like that? You're, you're pissing those people off. I mean, like, yeah, yes, exactly. I am trying to piss those people off so that they, so they get out of here and go be Karen somewhere else. Right. So hopefully that worked, but uh, you have the Ten of Swords here. The Ten of Swords is, like I said, he's making the symbol with his hands that represents a blessing. Every, so all three water signs have, have had something like this. So there's something clearly going on in the water sign energy that's like, like you've been through something difficult, you've been through something hard, and now there are blessings coming in, but you need to keep pushing forward, right? Sometimes I think when we have the Ten of Swords, uh, the the problem really is that we stop. <laughs> you know, we've been through we've been through so much that we stop and we don't get the blessing. So I feel you need to keep pushing, right? You have the three of cups. Three of cups is a celebration or happiness coming in for you. I and I, that's really what I feel here. Three of cups can mean a lot of different things. Community can actually represent a harvest as well. But I feel like there is just some sort of happiness. Like I, I just get a celebration, and mostly because of this, you go up to the six of wands, which is you being celebrated. You um, you know people celebrating you for your accomplishments or, um, you know, people supporting you or whatever the case may be. So really nice. With the Knight of Wands, yes, you have the King of Wands. Knew it. Yes, definitely. King of Wands, Queen of Wands right here. So definitely a divine counterpart coming in for you if you want love. Uh, could be a fire sign for sure. If it's not a fire sign, I would say it's someone who is fiery. You know, it could be someone who is very driven, motivated, uh, an adventurer as well. Could be someone who goes on like a lot of adventures. It could be a builder. It could be someone who's literally a builder, like literally build stuff, put stuff together in life. Or, you know, it could be someone who is like entrepreneurial. You know, like King of Wands, like the true entrepreneur. I would say that this person has like strong, good foresight as well. The King of Wands can see the future. He has strong foresight. So, you know, this could be a person who is very futuristic. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I would say it's someone very stable as well. But I also feel that you are working on your stability. I think you're trying to get something to be stable. That's kind of what I'm hearing, but not exactly. That's why I say I think, because I don't really know. <laughs> this is not intuitive, but I kind of just get this feeling of you working on a project, a business, um, you know, a side hustle, a skill that you have that could increase your stability. It's like not there yet, but I feel you're very, very close to making something uh, to be able to support you. So if you're trying to, you know, if you're trying to create something, um, 
you know, that could be supportive, that could support your life in some way, uh, then I would say that you are getting very close. Like, do not give up is what that Ten of Swords is really saying to me. With the Three of Cups, you have the Moon. Everybody's in this position right now. I, I think that we just can't see the future. Um, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. We, you know, I think that normally in life there are little milestones, right? Where you're, you maybe you're working towards something, and there's like a little clue that you're going in the right direction. Uh, we have Neptune and Pisces, and this is Pisces. And the problem with Neptune and Pisces is that those milestones, like those moments where you say, "Oh, I'm going in the right direction," maybe they're like farther apart. So it takes longer to get to those moments where you get like the confirmation that you're going in the right direction and this is Chris's crappy astrology not accurate astrology and what I would say is we just have to keep going it's just like the time that we're in so you know just like I said with that ten of swords I feel like you have to keep pushing forward uh next in the area of the unexpected I don't think there is anything unexpected coming in for you by the way so there you go but you have this writer card it says words are magic use them and manifest more abundance definitely a really good time for manifestation for sure your words have the power to influence, share your gift with the world. Some of you could speak or be speaking for a living. You have this designer card. It says, find a creative strategy to improve your finances. The whole entire reading is, like I would say, like the big picture part of the reading is improving your finances. You're doing, you're clearly doing something uh, that can improve your finances. Just like I said with the Knight of Wands, being a true builder as well, I feel that you could be a builder. You could be building your finances. You could be learning how to build your finances. And I think it's an amazing time to do it. So definitely anything you can do to educate yourself financially uh, would be a good idea. You have the four of cups, six of wands, and the three of pentacles. Four of cups, it can be a card of disappointments. Um, you know, thinking the grass is greener on the other side. You know, I always say, to me, the true story of the four cups is that he's trying to manifest something and let's pretend he's trying to manifest a cake. It's like he has the flour, the sugar, the eggs. He's manifested the ingredients, but he doesn't, he just doesn't have everything. You know, he needs to mix it all together and put it into the oven. And so I feel for a lot of you, it's like you have all the ingredients to create what you want or to improve your finances. Because I do feel like that's a major focus for you is just financial improvements in general, um, but also financial stability or creating something. I was getting words, very specific words on um, the King of Pentacles. It was more saying support your life. <laughs> I think I literally said that. And, you know, that's more the feeling I get. So I don't know, that might make sense to some of you, but, um, you know, I feel you need to mix things together. You have these six of wands. You will be victorious at whatever you're trying to do. I think that some of you could also be, you know, I think that... You know, there is could be a little bit of jealousy around you because, you know, if you are building something, I feel that to the outside world, it looks like something is coming together much faster. So like, let's say um, you're building, um, you know, like a YouTube channel or something like that. It might be growing faster than most people. But again, I think what the people don't see is everything you've been through to get to that point. So, you know, I would just ignore it. This person right here is meant to look jealous. And so again, there could be a little bit of jealousy, but like I said, I would just ignore it. Uh, because it looks like you're going to be successful anyway. You have the Three of Pentacles. I would focus on the quality of the work that you're doing. Three of Pentacles is the card of quality work and not so much the quantity of the work that you're doing. So like I said, I would just focus on quality, not quantity. I also, again, do feel like you are being recognized for the work that you're doing, which is great. You know, um, Three of Pentacles to me is definitely a card of getting a raise, getting a promotion. You do end with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands to me is very specific. If you're trying to get a raise or promotion, uh, she says you really have to go for it, meaning you have to ask for it or say something. So, um, you know, if you're looking for raise or promotion, I would be bragging about all the work you do to your boss. I would be like, look at all this great work I do. <laughs> I need a raise or a promotion right now. You know, I would like do stuff like that. With the four cups, you have the ace of wands. I feel like you're worried that uh, something will be a fly by night connection. Like if you're interested in a new person or you're attracting a new person, I do get some like fears. Uh, like this is my favorite card in the tarot, by the way. But, um, you know, I do get some fears about something happening quickly, starting quickly and not getting anywhere. But I don't think that's true. I think that things could actually go very well for you between you and a new person. The Ace of Wands also says you need to move towards your inspirations. Uh, Ace of Wands out with the old and with the new. And you have the Page of Wands holding on, you know, one wand, one wand, one wand, one wand. It's like there's something here about a wand that you're holding on to, like a creative idea, a creative project, um, you know, a, a passionate new beginning as well. Could be in any area of your life. But the wand, the one wand is really standing out to me. Six of Wands, He's holding on to one wand, three of wands. He's holding on to one wand. I'll show you in a minute. And so there's something here about like one thing that you want. 
But it's also interesting that there's a bunch of wands. And how it's popping into my head is that there are maybe a bunch of distractions. It's like there's one thing that you really want, and then there are like a bunch of other ideas or other people or other things that are just distractions. I feel like this is saying you have your hand on the right wand. That's what she said, right? So there you go. With the six of wands, you have the uh, fool. Definitely time for a leap of faith. So I feel it's time for you to kind of grab onto that wand and really make it happen, whatever it is that you're creating, this new beginning. Uh, like I said, Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new. So you're clearly working on or creating a new beginning. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Two of Pentacles. You have Two of Pentacles twice. Um, you know, Two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard. So in a lot of ways, we have to, uh, you know, I think we are in a time where we have to make sure if we're working hard that we're playing hard. If we're playing hard, we need to make sure we're working hard. So, you know, make sure you're balancing your energy. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this card that says, you have intuitive ideas that you really need to act upon. Are you like Ace of Wands? Ace of Wands is an intuitive idea that you need to act upon. There you go. You have this card that says, don't dwell on what might be on the other side of that closed door. Yes, everything is in front of you. Um, you know, everything is in front of you. Literally, I, I literally heard that in the shower this morning. I, I literally heard that. In, I was taking a shower this morning, obviously. And, uh, you know, I heard um, everything you want is in front of you or something like that. I heard those words. And that's weird that's coming up here. Again, that, that must have been for you. And, you know, I, I was thinking, about you in the shower, Scorpio. There you go. But, you know, I think for a lot of you that um, everything you want is in front of you. I think you just have to keep moving forward. It, it, the, the, you know, the moon really says that too. You know, the moon really does say everything you want is in front of you. He just needs to keep moving forward. The, you know, the moon, the fool, the moon is part of the fool's journey. And the moon, the fool needs to go towards these mountains. So everything he wants is in front of him. And I literally heard that this morning. So, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, you have the, with the Page of Wands, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is also about uh, putting in work, but it seems to me like you are finally getting results. We kind of said this earlier, where it looked, I think to the outside world, it looks like you're getting results faster than anyone else, but really not. You know, I think it's been a long journey, and but your hard work is paying off, is what this card says. With the Three of Wands, you have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, make sure you're putting energy into things that give energy back to you. Like I said, you have all the a bunch of wands showing up here. And the Six of Pentacles says, make sure you invest in the wand that returns energy to you. Meaning, you know, if this is a project, you put energy into it and it provides something back like money or effort or en even just energy, right? If you're working on something, even if it doesn't provide money, if it fulfills you, if it makes you happy, if it, um, you know, uh, brings you joy and, you know, uh, happiness and, it, you know, it's kind of like a fulfilling energy, then um, then I would keep doing it. Like for the first like four years of this channel, it made me nothing. <laughs> so, it, but I just did it because it made me feel good. Good, right? And so that's what I feel here. I feel for some of you that, you know, even if you're doing something and you're not making money or whatever, if it brings, if it make you feel better after you do it, then I would keep doing it. You know, I always tell people, that's why I do, I do readings when I'm sick. People are always like, take a break. I'm like, no, you don't realize I feel better after I do this. I channel from source. So it's like, I feel full of energy. You're the last reading I'm doing today. I've done a bunch and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very much more animated than when I started. Right? So I feel much better when I get to the end. And again, like, do you have something like that in your life? And if you do, great, do it. If you don't, then you need to find it. <laughs> what, whatever it is, it could be petting dogs. I don't care what it is, but I would make it some, something, right? With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Swords here. See, this is very interesting because this tells me that you're very clear on something. Queen of Swords, she only has clouds halfway up her body and she's going towards the future here. And you have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So again, you could be very clear on like the type of connection or love that you want into your life uh, if you want love because we're going towards this right here. Uh, this could also say that you are open to a new beginning and it doesn't have to be love. It could be like a project, a business, you know, some sort of idea that you're working towards here with the Ace of Wands. Again, the Ace of Wands really can be anything. But j just the way to think about it is it's something that inspires you, something that is exciting to you or that you feel enthusiastic to do. So like I was saying with that Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands is something where you put energy in, you get energy out. It fulfills you. You know, It's something you could do all day long. And so I kind of feel that the Queen of Swords is saying that you are clear on what that is, whether it's a relationship, a business, an idea, doesn't really matter. But I feel like you are much more clear on like what things in life can make you feel that way. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this TikTok card and this message in a bottle card. So, you know, I feel like it is time for you to have something with that TikTok card. It's almost like you're, the time is right. 
And the message in the bottle card could be a, a communication coming in in love for sure. You have that two of cups there. So you could be receiving a message. For others, this could be an intuitive message as well with that queen of cups. And um, again, sometimes I look at the wands cards, not really necessarily as intuition, but kind of like a part of your intuition, if that makes sense. Like I said, sometimes I feel that the ace of wands is just inspiration. And inspiration can sometimes be intuitive because you know it's like the universe is communicating with you by making you feel inspired to take action on something. That's kind of how I feel about the ace of wands. And so it, it kind of is intuitive. And so I do feel you could be receiving important intuitive messages on like uh, about something and it could come in the form of inspiration uh, with the queen of wands, the page of wands, the net of wands. I always tell people to move towards your inspirations and you literally have four cards that say that. Net of wands, ace of wands, um, queen of wands. What was the other one? Page of wands as well. So you have all these cards that are like saying you're receiving messages in the form of inspiration. So, you know, pay attention. You have the Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. I, I know everybody and their mother reads Queen of Cups as Cancer, but I read her as you, Scorpio. So <laughs> um, why? Because um, in the Golden Tarot by Cat Black, she uh, kind of refers to the Queen of Cups as Scorpio. And I don't know, it's always stuck with me. So there you go. But you know, it doesn't matter. I feel like this is you showing up in this reading in a very strong position. When is it, Whenever you show up as yourself, it puts you in a position of power and strength, really allows you to get what you want from the reading. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Wands, Ace of, or, or no, sorry, the uh, Four of Swords, way off. Uh, the Four of Swords is a card of resting, relaxing, recovering, but really the Four of Swords is a card of blessings. There is a person right here who is blessing this other person. In the same row here, you have the Ten of Swords, and um, I don't know if I showed you this already, but um, this guy here, he's making this symbol with his hands that represents a blessing. So again, there is clearly a, some sort of blessing that you've been hoping or praying for that is just for you is what I'm hearing. So I feel there could be a really strong blessing coming in for you. You have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Two of Cups is a perfect match. So if you're looking for love, there could be a perfect match coming in for you. Uh, this right here is the Staff of Hermes. And so it represents Mercury. And there could be a need for you to communicate with a person. Again, some of you could be reaching out to a person here or they could be communicating with you, whatever, take it how it resonates. And I feel that there could be communication coming in in love. I feel like you find each other very attractive as well. You know, if this is a person, you have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. To me, they both have like very strong desires for each other. Like I said, definitely could be a fire sign. It uh, could also just be someone with like fire in their chart or a fiery person, take it how it resonates. But uh, whatever it is, I feel that it is um, very, very good. So love it, <laughs> looks good to me. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Devil. Um, the Devil is a card of kind of, um, you know, toxic energy, but it's coming up in the area of the good stuff. So you could be removing yourself from toxic situations. The other thing I will say about the Devil is that these people, they have animal horns on their heads here. And the animal horns represent their baser instincts, uh, especially in a reading with so many wands cards. That would really tell me that you have the, um, you know, the baser instincts is like root chakra energy, but you know, root chakra energy is necessary. That's the place of creation. So, you know, it's like sometimes we have a bunch of creative energy. We just need to bring it up to our head and express it into the world. So you have all this creative energy here. If you want to create anything, now is the time to create is what this reading is pretty much saying. Uh, with the Four of Swords, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yep, whatever this is, is a big opportunity. <laughs> you have two aces here. You have the Money Path card, right? It's like you're clearly on this path towards abundance or money or whatever it is that you want. I think you just need to nurture it. With the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands, you have the Temperance card. Yeah, I feel like true love has been a hard thing for you to find, Scorpio, or you've had a hard time finding true love or whatever the case may be. Uh, but I feel like your patience will pay off, you know? Um, so if you are working uh, towards love or trying to find love or whatever the case may be, it looks to me like you are finding true love here or you are finding something um, that is going to be really, really good for you here um, with that temperance card. And it's like, it's like, it's almost like saying your patience, even if it's taking you a long time to find this true love, I think it, it's like saying your patience is paying off. Uh, you have this manipulation card. This is actually a good card. Um, this card is like manipulating energy. It's a card of manifestation. So it, 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 I think that you have that writer card. I mean, I, I think it's an amazing time for manifestation right now. I've been like, even me, uh, I'm not a Scorpio obviously, but I've been like really, really making sure to watch my words recently and things like that. So, you know, it's a really good time to watch your words. Uh, you have this empathy card. I feel like you could be attracting a person who has a lot of empathy as well. That could be something that stands out to you is what I'm getting off of this card. Like you feel like, you know, you, it's almost something that stands out to you about this person. So that's nice. 
Uh, you have this vision card. Um, a lot of people get this card right now. You could be attracting a Pisces as well, by the way. You have the moon, you have this card, which is sun and Pisces. But, uh, you know, what I will say is that I also feel that our vision is very important right now. Like we really need to you know, kind of have a goal, wish, dream, something like one thing to work towards. And if we do, we'll be successful. Um, and, you know, I, I would make sure to have like a focus is what this is saying. It doesn't say you have to know all the answers either. It's not like you have to know like, oh, um, I'm going to go accomplish this thing exactly this way. It just says you just need to have something to aim at so that you can start working towards it. Uh, next, you have this intuition card, clearly a very intuitive reading as well. So I trust your intuition. And you have this authority card. Um, you could, I feel like some of you could be becoming an authority. Like if you're growing quicker, remember I was saying something about growing faster than people think or whatever the case was there. Um, you know, I think that for a lot of you, you could be growing quicker. You could also be attracting a um, emperor type person as well. But it's a really good reading, Scorpio. I love it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.